Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. You did some Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. It's so Thank juicy. On Patreon, follow the official Twitter account, ring the bell, go for the notification squad. Bang! You want to be notified whenever we post videos, because we post them every single day. It's true. In case you didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> um, today, we are doing uh, something different. Uh, we've been asked to do this for a while. Uh, we are going to be naming our top ten films you should recommend to an American. Um, and so this is specifically an American because we are Americans and that's all we can speak towards. Uh, yep. uh, uh, obviously different countries, Germany, uh, England, uh, Brazil, different tastes. Uh, I don't know what their cinema is like. Uh, this is just for an American who has never ever seen anything out of India. Uh, this is our top ten recommendations. This is our not, these aren't even our favorite films. Even though I'm sure they're films we both like, obviously, <laughs> uh, or else we wouldn't be recommending it. Um, but I think most of it has to do in, uh, with runtime is a big thing if you're recommending to an American because most of our films are an hour and a half to two hours tops. That's, that's where most of our films, unless it's a Nolan film or an Avengers film, uh, right. so those, those are big epics. Uh, or Martin Scorsese, because he's crazy. Or Martin Scorsese, uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so this is just for that. Um, also, obviously, there's many others that you could recommend. Also, people's tastes are different. So, so what one person will like, others won't. We kind of came up with a general list of things to get. If you have an American friend or American family that aren't familiar with anything out of India, these are films that we think that you can recommend that they will enjoy and get them interested into Indian cinema. So, that being said, number 10, Rick, what's yours? All right, and this was, I don't know about you, was this easy for you to make a 10 or was this hard for you to make a 10? It was hard. <laughs> yeah, it was really, I had a 21 and then I yeah, stopped. There's a lot, there's a <laughs> there's, lot that you can recommend. Yeah, so for example, I, I will give, believe it or not, because my number 10, uh, all of these, I have the name of it and then I have a sentence and it all begins with like the game changer for me. So these are like, because the objective for this is to show people the quality of stuff coming out of India and let their minds be blown away like we have been with, oh, I did not know that. I had this stereotype in my head about Indian cinema and about Bollywood and I had no idea. So I this one... Uh, I have an honorable mention later, but my number 10 is Header. Gotcha. And it's for me the game changer when it comes to proving that Hollywood and England aren't the only place where Shakespeare can be adapted for the screen better than anywhere else on earth. Mm -hmm. Because Header is for me the best adaptation of Hamlet I've ever seen. I, I agree with you. It's actually not on my list, believe it or not because I think you can only recommend it to a specific type of American. And that's why I almost didn't include yeah. it, but left it, because you're absolutely right. N people who don't care about Shakespeare and don't know Hamlet and don't understand the slightest thing about the tensions that have gone on with the Kashmiri yeah. Yeah. situation, they're not going to understand it. So but absolutely. If, but I had, to, I had to. If you, like, if you have a friend who likes like artsy films oscar type thing they'll probably be into it and so yeah like i said there's a ton it just depends on their tastes uh, some God. people some I, people like big action some people like drama some people like all this kind of stuff so there's many different ways my 10 is actually yeah your 10 uri uh because uh I, and one we, we that was one of the first films we saw in india uh in theaters here uh and i think in terms of a film that's a military film. One, we can relate yep. to military films. Uh, two, yep. it's just a really good military film. Uh, yep. It's yep. entertaining all the way through, and it shows because a lot of people, and I can tell you this from experience that I've asked, most people think stuff coming out of India, Bollywood, is just songs and dance. Right. <laughs> and so you show them something that is comparable to what it, what was those films that uh, came out with. Um, 
um, to uh, dark, dark. No, um, what's his name? From uh, I just want to get. I just want to get another look at you. Um, what's his name? From uh, a star. Uh, a star is born. Male. The male. What's his name? Oh crap! Uh, with Gaga. Yeah. Bradley Cooper. Um, Anyways, uh, Bradley yeah, Cooper. Thank so you. He, that, that film he did uh, a few years ago, uh, the military one, uh, sh- like with a American sniper. sniper. Yes. Uh, or like Hurt Locker. So I think that film is just as good as those films. And Absolutely so agree. I think it could be an uh, immediate for your people that like action. I think that yep. could be uh, one that uh, you could recommend almost immediately. I absolutely agree with you. It is for me, I include it, like there's people who watch military films on Memorial Day weekend here. Yeah. Uri, Uri is in my list of those kinds of films. But interestingly, it's not on my top 10 either. See? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so you're, <laughs> you're nine. It was in my top 20. It was in my top 20. So my number nine, Gangs of Wasper, which is both one and two. I, they're one film. Yeah. Uh, for me... The game changer when it comes to breaking the stereotypes Americans have that India can't produce something as magnificent as The Godfather or Scarface. You want to be proven wrong? Go watch Gangs of Wasabur. Once again, I agree. It's not on my list. And you know how much I love that film. It's not in your top ten? Because it's five and a half hours long. That's why. Wow. Yeah, see, I think think if you let people know, I think if I told my friends here who, like my, my buddy Rich, loves loves movies loves scarface i would let him know i'd say okay dude you need to go in for the long haul this thing is freaking long allow it to be long watch it over a couple treat it like a mini series well that's why i and wish just they watch it because they used to have it as a mini series here they they released it as a mini series like a six-part mini series on netflix or yeah. some streaming service yeah. i don't know why they took that off because if that's wow, the i'm case, shocked it's not in your top 10. It's because of the length. You know how much I love that film. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> I love that I film, and it's one of my favorites. Yeah. But in terms of if I I would actually recommend, if I was to recommend it, I'd be like, watch the second one, because you know that one's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so, like, or if you can, try to space it out, because yeah, I think if you, if you tell people it, it's five and a half hours, they're going to be like, uh, I don't have five and a half hours. <laughs> no, and here's the thing. I think if you Americans do that and lazy. they go through it, if they get through it, you then can roll up your sleeves and go, okay, now you can watch like gone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, yeah, but once again, yeah. it all depends on tastes. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think they would love it if they got down to set to it, but I think the runtime would intimidate people. That's why it's not on my list. My nine, yeah. nine is uh, Kahani. Good. That's can't. Believe this is great. I knew you and I would come up with different choices. Yeah. Uh, well, well, yours is turning out to be just my favorites list. Uh, my, my, but most of mine, like I said, had to do with runtime, most of them. Uh, and so this is a very good suspense thriller type thing uh, with great acting and great story. And it teaches you a little bit about Indian culture. Uh, and I, so I thought it was just a, a, a really good choice. The runtime's not too bad. Uh, I agree. And, and so that's that's why it's there. I think I think most Americans would enjoy that film. Go ahead. I agree. Number eight, Kumbalanji Nights. It's on the mine. game changer. Is it on your top ten? Yeah, it's on my All top right, ten. Yeah. Come on. It's it's the, it's the game changer when it comes to breaking the stereotypes Americans have about every film in India having to come out of Bollywood and that regional cinema can produce Oscar level quality. Yeah, it's yep. actually seven for mine as well. I have it exactly at, at, at I mean eight. That's what I meant. Uh, eight. It's at eight. Oh, cool. Uh, the only reason it's not higher is because of the um, um, slowness of the front of it, uh, mm. and so. But I, 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 I think you can recommend it to anybody. As if they'll sit down and watch it, I think they'll enjoy it. Uh, but that's the reason it's not at one because, once again, you know how much I love that film. Uh, <laughs> um, it's just because of the um, the slowness of the front. If they don't like drama. Like uh-huh. like dialogue like we like, um, I, they might get bored. But then obviously once they get to the end, they'll the payoff will be. <laughs> so and I, good. I also think I, I also think that you kind of do almost do a disservice to it by by it not being. Um, if you tried to make it first, I think it's almost in the same way that like to, to to get to that area, you actually you know you don't go directly there. You come through. I think it's good to be introduced to Indian cinema first with something 
more Americanized before you yeah. enter into that region and understand cultural things. So yeah, yeah and that's, also, that's awesome. I think it teaches them about Kerala and how beautiful that area oh, of India man. is, obviously, because that, that's a whole character in and of itself in that film. Absolutely. Uh, so year seven. PK. Interesting. For me, and I, I have a very special place in my heart for PK that not everybody's going to have, but for me, it's the game changer when it comes to breaking the stereotypes Americans believe <laughs> Excuse me. About, about India being a third world country and Indians having antiquated or bigoted worldviews. That was one of the most beautiful things for me was that this was presenting this innocent character who was looking at all of the different belief systems and you have this relationship between an Indian woman and a Pakistani man. And it really touched on topics that I think a lot of Americans would look at and go, oh, so they're not the stereotypical antiquated, you know, way behind us people. They actually are they're progressive in the way that they think and ponder things. They don't just follow these traditions mindlessly. Yeah, that one's not on mine, but I, I agree with you. Um, it's just. They, some of the acting in there is what, why I wouldn't recommend it before the ones I have here. Um, okay. Because it's, it's, it's not American style acting a lot of times in it. Um, but I can see there are people that would love that film in terms of America because we love that film as well. So I might be just talking out of my butt. Um, <laughs> but my eight or seven is uh, Swades. Really? Look at you, Corbin Miles. One, I enjoyed for an that film. American audience. You, I enjoyed that film a lot. Uh, as you know, I yeah. I wish the ending was different, as you know, but uh, uh, I enjoyed that film. I think if you want to be introduced to Bollywood, you have to be introduced to Shah Rukh Khan, because he basically <laughs> is Bollywood. Um, now, now you do you do realize that's a three and a half hour runtime, my friend. Yeah, I do. Okay. But, I was thinking, I was like... But no gangs of Wassifer. Yeah. yeah, I did forget about the runtime. Hmm. <laughs> was it really three and a half hours? Heck yeah! Was it really? I don't remember that. Yes! Um, That's three and a half hours long. Nah, then maybe not. Uh, but anyways, what I was saying, <laughs> I you have to introduce an American to Shah Rukh Khan. And so you would choose, would you choose that over, say, like, My Name is Khan for an introduction to SRK? Yeah. Wow, not me. But because, um, no, it's not just SRK, this is India as a whole. And so it explains a lot of the culture as well. Uh, True. Oh, and I, I love, I love yeah. Swadesh. I, uh, it's, I so love that That's movie. why it's there. I didn't realize it was three and a half hours, so I might actually nix that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I thought it was about two and a half. I don't remember it being three and a half. Anyways, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Go, Rick, what's your six? Number six, Rosie. Okay. Interesting. Uh, for, yeah, for me, that's a game changer when it comes to breaking stereotypes that Americans believe about uh, Pakistan and India. Mm, okay. I really loved, aside from, come on, it's love. we love that director. We love the actors in that, especially Alia. And I, I, what I was most impressed by, because it was one of the earlier films we saw, and Vicky. was how much it... Yeah, it, and Vic, of course, that's what I mean. I mean, there's several people in there that it's Vicky's in there. Um, the it 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 really gave a different perspective in terms of uh, a lot of a lot of Americans don't realize they just think of Pakistan as like this terrorist place that was its own country forever, and they're just enemies of India and enemies of the West. They do not realize as we didn't this was once one country and yeah. there are deep rooted things that go much, much deeper than just the stereotypes you see on your news at night here in America. And I, I really feel open-minded people would look at this and go, Oh, maybe I need to take a closer look at, I didn't even realize that th they were one country. What, what did happen? I think it could really draw people into a realization of the situation there. Interesting. Um, so my six is English of English. Uh, Wow, it's at six. It's at six because I think this film is actually really good to recommend to like your the mothers, uh, American moms, uh, oh. female, like because it, it's just a, such an enjoyable film. You'll have a smile on your face the entire time. Uh, yeah, 
you you don't you don't you're not the kind of guy who puts certain films into a chick flick category, are you? Some there are some, but no, no, not fully. Yeah. I, I love chick flicks. I okay, like chick, well, well, not all chick flicks. Calling uh, them chick flicks. Anyways, uh, but I think dad like this. Some, not all. Uh, um, but like I said, everybody has different tastes. Um, but this, I think, has uh, is one of the most enjoyable films we've watched. I think just because of how lovely Sri Devi is, and how one, it's also you can just relate to it because it's in America, uh, and and so you can you can easily relate. And I think it would give people more empathy for immigrants coming to America as well. Uh, and also, it's just adorable. It's just an adorable film. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Loved it ever since we watched it. Uh, yep. Go ahead, five. Number five, Padmavat. Um, I think this is the game changer when it comes to breaking stereotypes Americans believe about Indian historic epics. Yeah. Padmavat or Bhushan you know, Mastanani. That was, I had to go between the two. And for me, it was because we were first introduced to Padmavat. And I think that, that informed our appreciation of Pastrami Mastanani. Yep. And for those of you who don't know what Pastrami Mastanani is, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's Bajaram Mastani. It's been called Pastrami Mastanani since day one. Um, yeah, I agree. Those are really good films that I think a lot of people would really, really enjoy and get them introduced to the big Bollywood epics. Uh, yeah, and uh, to the beauty of, of the directorial imagery of, of Sanjay Leela Bansali. A ton of actors. Uh, of course. Um, my five is Gully Boy. Uh, I think it's actually a really, wow. really digest. Yeah, we have totally different uh, lists. Uh, yeah, you have like most of yours are actually were on my top ten favorites of. <laughs> I think <laughs> most of the ones you had are just my personal favorites. Um, Gully Boy, I think, is a really, really good um, and easily digestible because, like a lot of people, I've compared it to Eight Mile. It's a similar story to an eight mile. Uh, rap is a huge thing in America mm -hmm. and they wouldn't know that it's a huge thing in India uh, yeah. <laughs> at all. You get to introduce them to Alia, Ranveer, um, um, what, um, what's her name? What's her name? Who? Uh, from uh, Margarito. I, can't, well, I, I don't know why I'm forgetting her name. <laughs> Really? I'm That's just, awesome. I'm Cocky. Cocky, thank you. Cocky Caitlin. And you call me old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, anyways, but so they get to introduce to a bunch of people. Obviously, the, that's beautifully directed uh, by <laughs> Zoya. Somebody else, somebody else you've forgotten? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> VJ but, Roz. We always forget VJ Roz. Oh, it's so good. Anyways, but I think that's, I think most Americans, just like we were, it was our first film in theaters of an Indian film and how impressed we were. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's one of those I think most Americans could easily digest and enjoy. All right, number four? Yep. Pink. Get him introduced to Amitak Bakchan. I like it. Yep. The game changer when it comes to breaking the stereotypes Americans believe about Indian worldviews. Remember we mentioned how much it was, we looked at it and we're like, dang, they were talking about this issue before we were. Yep. And it introduces you to the gravitas of Amitabh Bakchan. And Topsy and, Panu. And it, and, it, and it introduces you as we were to, to Topsy Panu. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. That's such a good film. Uh, my four is Masan. Uh, I think that film is just flawless. And it's a short run time. And mm -hmm. it's one, it's obviously written by uh, Anirad Kashyap. Uh, yeah. And so he writes stuff like we've told, like it's just very Western style. Yes. Uh, and so I yes. think and it's the quality of it is just so good uh, of that film. I could have put Udan here as well. Uh, the, yeah, the, the, I, I thought might. Those two are interchangeable for me. You could, inter you could yeah. recommend Udan, you could recommend Masan. Both of them, I think people would really, really enjoy just because it's just, the films are so, so good. I, I can't disagree with you. I think that's an absolutely true. Three. My, my, my three is English for English. Nice. Which is, for me, the game changer when it comes to breaking stereotypes Americans believe about Indian rom-coms. Um, just a happy, good feel. And I think that would be amazing to, uh, you know, something even as seemingly simple as that scene where she's in the coffee shop in New York 
it's one of those things that can help people recognize, hey, I need to be a little bit more compassionate and understanding yeah. and uh, recognize, you know, we, we're kind of dumb over here. We speak one language. Everybody else in the world speaks multiple languages. And, and, and it's, a, it's an introduction to the beautiful Sri Devi. So I love English of English. It's, it's in my top three of the first movies, I would say, to anybody getting introduced to Indian cinema. Please watch English of English. My three is ugly. Uh, almost the same reason uh, as Masan and Udan. Um, it's, I think that film was brilliant. And I think it's just, wow. yeah, I love that film. I think that's so would you, so you, uh, well, I don't know. We'll see what goes on because there was another film in the same category that I was really debating. It's in my top 20 and I was wanting to put it in there because I thought, uh, and it was Raman Raghav 2.0. Yeah. I, uh, and that was, that was an honorable mention. Basically. Um, I think ugly as a film, and this, I think we said this in review. I liked the film of Ugly more. I think more. some of the performances okay. of uh, sure. Ram and Raghav are obviously incredible. Um, I think they're both great films. Um, so it's really dealer's choice. But I think the film of Ugly is just almost flawless. And it's just, it shows him that, oh, this, the, wait, India makes these films? What? <laughs> yeah, I, I agree so, with you. So to take Absolutely what Rick agree. says, it's the game changer in the crime thriller. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's your two? Uh, so my, my two is the lunchbox. Okay, it's for me the game changer uh, when it comes to breaking the stereotypes Americans believe about Indian actors. Gotcha. If I was to, if someone were to say to me, uh, you know, if I was going to introduce this to somebody who I knew loved acting and loved actors and hadn't been introduced to Indian cinema, I would want them to see the effortless beauty that is Irfan in The Lunchbox. That's actually my number one, mm. is The Lunchbox. I think, uh, just like you, that's actually what I recommend. Like when we did that 51, I recommended it to almost every single person on that video to watch The Lunchbox. Multiple of them mm -hmm. have so far, and they've all yeah. said they've loved it. Uh, and so yeah. that how can you not? It's such a short film. It shows the acting quality of multiple people. Uh, yep. Irfan, oh, Nawaz. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Nawaz. And forgive me, I'm not remembering the actress who's who's opposite, but she's magnificent as well. Yeah. The direction is magnificent. So, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. always the first one I recommend. But uh, so there's one left for each of us. So what's your number one, Rick? Well, what would you? What's your number two? Amos. Oh really? Yeah, uh, I think introduced introduced to the a Western audience like well, there's you none... you bring that like way up at the front. Well, of course it depends on their taste. If they do, if they if they're into sure. like rom coms, I'm not gonna be like, hey, watch Amis. <laughs> but actually, it's it's, yeah. great. it's a really good love story, but it, it cannibalism. Uh, <laughs> but it depends on obviously their taste. And so if yeah. they're if they're not just into those types of films and they're into like if they really liked um, um, what just won Best Picture um, Parasite. Wow, Parasite. you are really you. Wow, I have dad brain right now. Uh, <laughs> if they're like if they really enjoyed that film and films like that, I have no doubt that they would love 100%. this film. One, it's it's short. It's really short. Um, yep, and it's. It's just a fun story. It's like you're gonna in, you're gonna enjoy that ride that you're on, and I think everybody can. Like I said, most of mine, yeah. with the exception of Swades, are all about the runtime for an introduction. I don't think you could. Uh, like I said, I didn't realize Swades was that long. I might nix that. Um, but like, just a Western audience is very lazy. Uh, <laughs> they get bored very fast. Um, and so you, you can't just throw them into something that's a, a Lagan. Um, and so those types yeah. of films that all have high quality and high, high quality acting, high quality writing, I, yeah. that's my list. So what's your number one, Rick? Gully Boy? Yeah. 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 Because it was, it was, for me, the game changer when it came to breaking the stereotypes I had and I think any American would have about Indian cinema, period. Yeah. It's it is it's the door that opened up uh, the world and the universe, and uh, I can't imagine it. Now I would interchangeably; it would depend. So, like for example, if I was talking to somebody 
whose mindset uh, was not connected to contemporary hip hop, uh, the rap world. Um, uh, if they're like way, way, way beyond thinking like a millennial or thinking in the 21st century and they're very, very old school in their life, I wouldn't make Gully Boy first. I'd put the lunchbox ahead of that or English of English. Those are my top three. Yeah. But nine times out of 10, when somebody says to me, I've never seen Indian cinema, what should I watch? Gully Boy. I'm surprised Amis wasn't on your on your uh, on your thing. There's only there's only one reason because it was in my top it was in my top twenty. Oh. Um, there's only one reason. As I looked at my list, I thought, okay, I, I absolutely want to have something that's representing regional. All the other ones are introductions to legends, either in direction, or acting, or writing, and I can't replace these legends that have this cornucopia of other stuff that an American would go, oh, I love that. What else have they done? Because if you introduce them to Amis, they're going to say, give me more. I'm going to be like, I've never seen anything else out of Assam. And that director's done two films. I have nothing else from that region to give you. But whereas I don't I'm, think you have I'm to go more to that region, you could just give them no, I know. cinema. But that was my own. That was my only reason. Whereas regionally, you know, the game changer about regional cinema being able to produce Oscar level stuff was Cumberlandji Nights, and we've seen several films from that region that I can then get, oh, if you like that, let me give you this. And then, oh, you like that? Well, let me introduce you to this one over here in the northeast of India. And that's where I would bring in Amas. Yeah. Well, obviously, there's almost 20 films that you could uh, easily recommend that we've seen. Yes. We've only seen like 85 films. Um, yep. And so... Obviously, there's a ton, and there's more than we listed here. Obviously, we're not saying this is the only ones you can recommend. These are the only ones yeah. that we've seen that and of we had to narrow it down to a top ten list. Um, so there's actually a bunch, and that, a testament to you guys to that you've shown us so much good stuff uh, that we think Americans oh, man, could yeah. easily digest. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helped you out. I hope uh, if you have an American friend that you, you can start introducing them to some Indian cinema. Da din din da din din da da din din 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 da din